While the mustard seed is not smaller than the orchid seed, it grows bigger than the orchid. It is used in today's gospel to show how the kingdom of God grows from the small and ordinary things of life that we often ignore as insignificant. So we as laborers in God's vineyard have this to do, to have faith by trusting that the smallness of the seed does not impede its potential for growth because God is in charge and walk by being God's instruments in sowing the seeds of faith and morals and making his kingdom present on earth. After all, that is what the Lord's prayer asks for. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So not only in big things are God's kingdom made manifest, but often in the little and common things of life. When we do these little things with care, mindful of our nature as created for goodness, we realize that God is glorified in every good work, no matter how little or small. It can be not leaving trash on public places, obeying the traffic, keeping quiet rather than saying hurtful and divisive words, and practicing one virtue or more each day. In these little things, God's kingdom is made manifest on earth. So we are to recognize that God is the one who makes his kingdom greatly present on earth by using small things. And all that we need to do is to trust in him who is truly in charge and be generous in being God's instruments in sowing the seeds of faith and morals in our families and in the world. No matter how little, it has the potential of growing into a kingdom that everyone especially those at the peripheries of the church, come to rest and find their refuge. Just as St. Paul tells us in the first reading, the Lord takes from the crest of the cedar, from its topmost branches, tear of the tender shoot. So from the soft and the fragile shoots, God's kingdom makes itself manifest. Our Lord Jesus Christ, tender and vulnerable, born in a manger, into a poor family, homeless and poor, and couldn't pay for a place to celebrate his Passover meal, and couldn't buy a grave for himself even in death, this same Lord of ours became for us the kingdom of God dwelling among us. He is the perfect mustard seed that seemed insignificant to his people, but became a great tree upon which our souls rest and find their refuge. Knowing then what God's kingdom looks like, we have every reason to walk by faith and not by sight. For God chooses the smallest of things to show his greatness and his glory. May the Lord bless his words in our hearts. Amen.